stole Gandalf's wine. No, you oh, were you appear no, yeah. were you appearing offline or did you actually just get on right at seven? No, I actually just turned on my computer. I wasn't appearing offline. I was watching a oh. movie. Oh, okay. Because I was like, I was like, damn, like, because I messaged you and you got on right, like, I was like, whoa. Yeah, my computer was turning on as you messaged me. That's funny. I was watching X Men. <laughs> Which X Men? X Men, not X Men. Uh, the second one. Future X X Men Two. No, 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 no. no. The one from like two thousand four. <laughs> oh no, the one with that old Deadpool. Or was that the first X Men? No, no, that's no, that, X Men that Origins. The, the, that's, that's Wolverine. That's X Men Origins. Origins, yeah. Okay. That's X Men Origins. I don't know if I've seen X. -Men Bad Deadpool is Origins. Okay, and X Men Two came out in two thousand two. You said. Yes, what something was the like plot? that. Um. What in the fuck is that? Going was the on? one where uh, Wolverine's trying to like discover his past and like. How he lost he discovers Striker too. and then and then yeah no, and how he lost his the, memory and then that wasn't the Deadpool one. Wait, hold I on. thought uh, that all happened. In the no, 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 no. Well, the Deadpool one explains exactly how it happened. Oh, okay. That's... This is like after he lost his memory and he's trying to discover everything. This, this correct. Uh, no. The origin is like when he lost his memory. Yep. Oh, that's so. X Men Two is uh. Uh, he, the wow. guy Striker, he captures Professor uh, Xavier, and he tries to use his power to kill all the mutants with Cerebro. Yes. And then Magneto switches it to target humans, and he almost kills all the humans. Uh, yes. And then uh, Jean Grey dies. The, uh, yep, very Jean Grey dies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, so are you just watching them in order, or did you just... Uh... Yep, I'm watching them, and we're watching them in order so that we're prepared for Deadpool Wolverine. We might not get through all of them before we watch Deadpool Wolverine, though, so whatever. Eh, that's okay. It'll be good either way. Um, Yeah, everyone's leveled up to level 5. See, I got off my yep, game. I'm level 5. Time. Good boy, Ami. Tim, Mike, y'all level 5? I think so. I like it. Yes, I'm level 5. Um, so, since we're not in, uh, Vandalin, I think I'm gonna start this session off saying that you guys kind of helped, uh, Gundren, uh, in Nun- or not Nun- <laughs> let's call him Nundren. In Nundren? His name's not Nundren, it's, uh- Nundro. Nundro. They just- Nundren, your business. <laughs> but, uh, Sorry. yeah, I'm gonna start off saying that you guys kind of <laughs> are, are helping them- uh, kind of set up their mining uh, shop right now. Uh, and this will lead to kind of your level up and everything. So I ho we'll start with Tyros. Tyros, I what ho would you be doing uh, to help with with what you're good at and skilled at? What I would you be ho doing to help? Uh, I'm obviously the singing. Oh, that's I'm your singing bard. dwarven mining songs. You're a bard now. I am a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. Diggy, diggy hole. <laughs> nice. And what did that? What does that get you in a mechanical sense? <laughs> what do you mean? What did you get on your level? Because <laughs> I don't know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what did the singing uh, and belching get you? Uh, uh, an extra attack. Okay. So you have two and level three spells. Right on. What spell do you do? Diggy, diggy hole. Diggy, diggy hole. Or, I guess it's only I do not spell. know. I have not picked yet. Oh my god, you have to pick. <laughs> diggy, diggy hole. Diggy, diggy <laughs> hole. Uh, okay. Ryan, or Bing, what would Bing be doing to help, and how <laughs> did that level him up mechanically? Uh, so... Bing was uh, practicing his, his, you know, boxing skills. You know, he was, uh, <clears throat> you know, putting in that work how did on that the grind in how, the gym. How did that help them? How did that, how did that help them? <clears throat> well, you know, we're, we're defending and helping the brothers out, so I'm more oh. of security. <clears throat> oh, anything. so you just fought off any intruders trying to get back. Yeah, in. you know, 40 bandits can't take me down. <laughs> okay, so people tried to... 
They didn't Please hear the test news that. yet. Uh, so on level up, I basically just got uh, extra attack, stunning strike, focus pain. What's going on, boys? And extra attack oh does God. exactly as it sounds. Wait, how? Uh, wait, 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 pause. Yes. Where did Mike go? And how did Max get in here? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know where Mike went. Mike might have uh, DC'd. He didn't talk for a while. He told me to join. Maybe he's reset his computer? Are you level 5, Max? Gotta be. Oh my god. <laughs> You're supposed to prepare beforehand. You had like two weeks. Sounds like you were leveling up. Wait, he's telling me no, what he I'm, picked. I'm explaining what I got. <laughs> That's all I'm doing. Um, keep going, right? Uh, extra attack is exactly as it sounds. Okay. Whenever I take the attack action, I get another attack. Uh, I have stunning strike, which mm -hmm. I spend a key point to attempt a stunning strike. A target must uh, succeed a constitution saving throw or be stunned until end of your next turn. Focused aim oh. is where I can uh, spend one to three key points to increase your attack roll by two for each key point spent. Yep. So, let's say, like, the enemy's AC is, like, 16, and I rolled a 14, so I can spend a key point to up it by two so I can actually hit. Oh, okay, so you can kind of increase that roll outcome. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. And that's that's it. Uh, and then uh, you know, Bing, of course, you know, the brothers kind of hooked him up, gave him a little bit of ex some good quality metal that he put on himself. So nice. you know, I got a little bit more, more health. Right on. See, yeah. right. See, Ryan knows what's going on. So Omri, now that you've had Bing's interpretation, uh, what did Varus do to help, and how did that mechanically change him? Uh. Varus took a vacation day, but yeah, he's back yeah. now. He's back <laughs> now, and he has an extra attack now that he can do. And he also, I want to say, I added a spell because I did have an additional spell, which was just find trap. Oh, okay. But that is a spell slot too, if I'm not mistaken. Or, yeah, um, yeah, that's like part of your ranger oh. spell list. It would take yeah, it would take so... a spell slot to use it. Yeah, so did I did pick up that one. Cool. Um, it's just That'll help. for learning areas of things. That's it. But it says it does not reveal like exactly where the trap is. It just tells you there's a trap in this area. Yeah. Okay. And I can learn the general nature of the danger posed by the trap. Oh, cool. Oh, so, yeah. Um, anything else? I'm trying to think of like. Cause that's more like a spell you don't really learn that next maybe you like hunted per provisions and stuff for the camp while they were setting up and that you got better with your bow uh that way um oh yeah anything else or was it just the spell and the attack mainly just the spell and the attack okay cool well yeah. you guys will be able to output a lot of damage now especially i think because your colossus breaker will proc each time so every time you make, even on your second attack, I think you'll get that extra damage. I think it just, I think the damage just goes up. I could be wrong. Well, isn't it like if you? No, you if can you... only deal this extra damage only once per turn. Oh, okay, okay, never mind. Yeah, never mind. Yes, yeah, so just on one. Okay, because I was going to say that's a uh... lot of damage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the claw, also slayer. Yeah, hunter. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, the yeah the Colossus is it stays at one d eight. Holy Elliot. shit! Oh okay, it is always one d eight. I'm guessing Max was looking at what he gets. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. Um, well, <laughs> you're the next one, Max, uh, or Sagan. Motherfucker, I can I can attack twice every time I attack. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what everybody gets. Is there anything else you got? Uh. I don't really think I got much this level. I think it's level six. I can't think of. Uh, it says artificer yep. specialist feature. So I'm not that quite would sure where to find that. That will be under whichever specialist you chose. So you chose uh, armor. Armor. Or... So and I went there and that says the extra attack. So that must be that. It, yeah. yeah. Then that's yeah, it. That's so at level five you can attack okay. twice. 
So that's and like it says whenever... efficiency is up to three plus yep. three instead of plus two. How do I change that? So on the character sheet, I think you can just go to your proficiency and bump that, or maybe when you level up, it'll and then do, do that. three here. Uh, oh, maybe I just go to level five and then. Yeah, it should do it once you go to level five. Okay. All right, yeah, cool. and that's going to basically make it so all your spells and all your hits have a easier way. Like, it adds plus one. Um, you also get two level two spell spells. slots. Gotcha. Or two. Yeah, you get the slot. So, I don't know how many spells really you know, it. but you can use level two spells now, uh, which that is nice. Uh, what would Sugon be doing to help the brothers kind of set up their mind? Set up the mine. I'd yeah. be lighting torches. I'm about that fire. I'm lighting torches. I'm getting this place Hell. lit up from front You're to going back. Around Nothing relighting sneaking all up. The, uh, the lanterns and yes, sir. Oh yeah, cool. Is is dad just not playing tonight or? I didn't hear what he said. He said I'll be. And then, like you said, he was telling me to join the server, and then I joined us. He was like, I'll be. I think I think he was saying I'll be right back. I think. Oh. Yeah, I, I accidentally set it. By one and call him or I accidentally set it to five. Maybe that. Maybe he thought you had to switch out with them. I don't know. Yeah, I left and then, or I joined the other server. He left and was like, "Man, you play a D and D? Get in here." Oh, okay. Well, hopefully uh, he realizes. Six, so then... I'm not sure what he's doing. Can you uh, up it to six at least, so then you can join? It it is at six. That's why I was wondering. Oh, okay. I accidentally set it to five. I thought I chose six, but whatever. <laughs> Uh, so you guys are um, packing up. You're kind of finishing up helping set up the uh, Wave Echo Cave mining uh, exchange. And you guys are about to head uh, back to Fandolin. Uh, uh, real real quick. So yeah. uh, I remember at the end of the last section, uh, you were saying that the brothers pay us. Uh, I forget the amount of gold, but... Can you tell me again so I can type in the notes? So it will be 10% of the profits of the mines, will, yes. which will come to 255. Um, this will be uh, each, chap each chapter uh, after this one. Okay. And that will be split among you guys. Why do I hear yeah. ambient sounds? I stepped outside <laughs> to let cat food outside okay <laughs> it's okay. There's a neighborhood cat and she seems like she's a little thin so helping her out um yeah so well boys it was it was nice it was nice that you helped me i'm rock seeker if you forgot my voice or gundren rock seeker is my last name um thanks again you guys are real heroes um good luck getting back to Fandolin. No problem, Gundren. I Th wish you success with your mind. Thank you, Bing. I know why. You guys get profit share. You remember that, so... That wishing is good. Uh, any other last words from any of you guys? I don't know if you'll see me again. If we don't, we will see each other in the next life. Thanks. I just gotta tell you, Thanks, motherfuckers, Bing. stay hard. That's all I gotta say. Thanks, Sogon. You too, man. You showed me the ways of an artificer, which was pretty rad. Yeah, dude. Also, showed you how to fuck. Keep it up. <laughs> yeah, you did. Keep it on the DL, though. Uh, Varus? What about you? Not gonna lie, I don't remember half the time, but we're gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss <laughs> you too, Varus. So, Tyros. Tyros, my man. What up, dude? <laughs> anyway, what's the we'll last We'll see each other again, I'm nope. sure. Who's knocking on the so. door? I don't think so. We have no doors, it's a cave. <laughs> okay. You guys get back home. Okay? Just get out of here. I, want you. I don't want you to see me cry. <laughs> Alright, bye, guys. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye, bye. Gundren. Bye. I go and uh, dap him up. Thanks, dap you. Do our do our secret handshake. Yep, secret handshake. Of course. None of you know it. None of you even saw it. Oh, I'm blind. 
and uh, you guys start heading back to Phandalin. It's a very uneventful journey. Uh, you have your cart and horses, and you ride back. And as you return to Phandalin, um, you see, here, we'll get up the fun map, because we love maps. We don't have to stare at this anymore. Hell yeah. Um, as you enter from the uh, north side, so you're coming from the uh, Tribor Trail, uh, you notice the rumbling of an agitated crowd that greets your journey back into town. It takes only a moment to locate the source of the cacophony, the home of the town's master, Harbin Weston. A gaggle of townsfolk has gathered, some shouting for Harbin to come outside, and others decrying or decreeing his leadership. A few individuals in the crowd display minor injuries and all seem anxious and frustrated. So that crowd will be right uh, in the front of the town's master hall here. Um, you all took a long rest, by the way, if you want to heal. Mm -hmm. just, just so everyone knows, you get a long rest. Um, okay. Does anyone, um, as you guys are approaching this crowd, uh, what is everyone's passive perceptions? Uh, I think I want to say mine's like, yeah, mine's 12. Okay. Nine. Uh, I don't I think, think I that's much. right at all. It's based off wisdom. Okay. Yeah. Then it, okay, then it's correct. It's Sixteen. Holy Whoa. shit! Passive yeah. wisdom perception is sixteen. Oh. Nice. God, damn, I always I'm forget. Like, I'm receiving everything. <laughs> yeah, ranges. That's why I was like, or, uh... that's why I was making sure. I was like, no one has. It can it can be like, high. Yeah. If your yeah. character is perceptive, yeah. it can be very high. I think it's because he's a ranger, guys. Yeah, yeah, the rangers are very perceptive uh, people. So Hell yeah, your boy ain't retarded. So, as you're riding in, uh, Varus, you hear uh, from the crowd a couple different things. Um, from a halfling woman. Um, I thought the red bands were bad, but at least they never smashed the bar. Who does that? And a human miner who shouts, The exchange is falling over and some of my friends are missing. Um, you see an elf who has an apron and flower on it. Um, exclaim, If I see one more of those gremlins come near my shop, I'm hitting them with a the rolling pen. I can't take it. Uh, you see a human woman um, who has a toddler in her arm and kind of cradling it. It'll be all right. She said, oh, it'll be all right. We just can't play outside after sundown, okay? Um, and a human man who's holding up a sketch of an orc woman and yells, My wife's been missing for days. Do something, you cowards. Stop this. Um, as you're kind of riding by, you're picking up a bunch of different... It's a very large crowd, and you're picking up all these kind of different complaints. They kind of seem um, all over the place. And as you, uh, I'm assuming, how do you guys want to investigate this scene? Uh, are, are there any, like, familiar faces in the crowd? Like, uh, yeah. the woman that one runs Barthens Provisions or, like, the, uh, barman at the inn? Uh, you actually do not see them there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, right. and no, no one else is, like, very familiar, right? No, this seems like a lot of the more just inhabitants of the town that you have, okay. that just seem to be laborers and workers of the town and not bigger figures that you've met. Huh? Uh, I, I would probably just observe some more, listen a bit more, listen to until I get a bigger story. And then I'll know who to ask. So as you guys are kind of listening and stuff, um, you hear more of like those complaints of, the people that have talked they just kind of go into more detail like uh the woman who complained about the red brand um just talking about how the sleeping giant has been graffitied and and upheld and and just ransacked um so the sleeping giant then we stay at no you guys are at stone hill and the sleeping giant was the old red brand uh, okay. bar oh uh, okay yeah uh, the human uh, miner goes into more detail about how the exchange has completely collapsed and that there are people stuck in there. 
um, stuff like that. Like you just get more details of these things. There's just a whole lot going on, uh, but the ones that your ears kind of pick up to and stick to are those. Okay. Uh, Bing is going to start heading towards the uh, inn that we normally stay at. Stop in there. Okay. So you're gonna go to Stone Hill Inn. I just need to find the yeah. name of the man. I wanna go talk to the dude who ain't getting no brick no more. <clears throat> Toblin. Toblin. Forgot his voice, but it's okay. So I'll say we'll start with the Stone Hill Inn. So you guys head to Stone Hill Inn. Uh and it doesn't it seems fine. Like there you actually catch uh Toblin uh, boarding up the windows uh, as you approach. Doblin, what goes on around here? Oh, oh, my friends are back. I don't even know if this is my voice, but this is my voice now. Um, hey, yeah. So, uh, as you can see, it's a bit unrestful in uh, Fandolin recently. There's been uh, a series of kind of mischief and crime. Uh, we don't really understand by what uh luckily stonehill inn has been uh targeted yet but uh the people that have been targeted have been targeted very hard um yeah and uh tyros you you feel a tug at your your <laughs> your coat oh dear <laughs> hey mister oh gosh hey how's it going good how are you i'm fine are you here to to stop the crimes? Yep, we're here to stop them all. Oh. Is it you? No. Wink. No. Not me. Fucking kid. Couldn't be me. I'm just helping Wink. my dad. I'm just helping my father board up our shop. Our, our wee little shop. Has anyone attacked your shop? No. Wink. Why is he winking? I'm winking. Because <laughs> I think it's funny. <laughs> okay. No. We're just preparing because I think we're next, if anything. Um, the townsmaster hasn't really talked to anyone. Um, I'm worried he's just kind of locked himself up in the hall. Uh, if you guys could talk to him and try to figure out what his plan is, that would be... That, that would make me feel so happy as a child. Yeah, we'll we'll go give him a chat. Thank you. Is that what you're you're welcome. All right. I guess I guess we're walking back towards the town's master's uh, house. Hell uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. And as you approach, you kind of go through the like, kind of do that thing where if you're at like a concert and try and get to the front, you're just kind of uh -huh. like slowly making your way through crowd everyone people have seen your face and respect you they know that you've helped with the red brands and the goblins and and brought trade and everything um so you're like a respected figure at this point so they're they're not trying to push back on you um and as you go uh who's gonna be the first person to the door oh bang bang's first okay so as you approach the door and you i'm assuming you would go to knock um the door I'm, I'm pounding on that shit you go to swing and the door opens in front of you and the momentum of the swing you kind of stumble in and he's like oh get get in here get in here for all of you the lot of you is everyone okay everyone's here where's malachor I, it doesn't matter come on in um and he slams the door behind you uh, uh, i i understand that they're angry but but do they expect me to take care of everything I can't, I can't take the, the gaggle master. of no good ruffians you... by myself. I, I, can't, I can't stop who's determined to break into houses and, and steal. It's absurd. These, these townspeople, they don't understand. You should you work need with... some balls, man. That, my balls have been Why'd taken. You, get this gig? You, you pussy. You and Seldar. That's why this place is going to shit. We're, we're, we're trying. The job and then it's oh, like, I can't okay. do the job. You you guys don't understand. Come sit. Sit, my my friends, sit. All right. Okay. I'm choosing to stand. Okay, you can stand. So, <laughs> once you guys left, uh, things things just happened really quickly. There there was crimes 
all over town. There, there's only one Sodar. Only one, only one Harbin. But there, there is so much going on. There's so oh, many mad pussy. people. Y'all didn't do shit. I know it. Well, you don't really understand because you haven't tried yet. But maybe you could do something about it all. Um, we definitely did try to figure out who's causing this. We don't even know who's causing it. It's unseen. It's dawn at night when no one's awake. It seems planned. It's fast. It's incredible. Why don't y'all leave up a... A fucking camera? A fucking night. camera? Was that what you were going to watch? We don't have, you know, we don't have that many Back when phones. I lived around the west side of Baldur's Gate, <laughs> motherfucker that used to ride a bike around the place used to talk about shit going down. Yeah. It turns out that shit was actually going down. Motherfucker yeah. was getting stolen left and right. Fucking I'm that motherfucker. Children, I'm the motherfucker on the bike. Wives, husbands, toes, motherfuckers, everything was getting stolen. Turns I... out it was a motherfucker on a bike. He smoked crack. We have many motherfuckers on bikes, my friend. Sargon, think of a hundred well, motherfuckers on. on bikes. Check them all. There, <laughs> that's my, that's that's, whole that's, that is the degree. We will not have toes by the end of this, I promise. <laughs> None of us. Unless you help. Ah, I'm asking you once again, Adventures. Please. Please help me. I, I will pay, like always. I just, I need this solved. It's causing is... too much uppress. Yeah, How much? If you're paying. Yeah, but what we I, How much? I can offer 50 now and 150 on completion. Alright, I'm thinking 200 and um, 200. No. We are not that rich. We are a small talker. Uh, wh which one of us is that smooth talker? Who's the smooth talker of our Who's gang? Yeah, talk, talk. talk some sense into this, man. Uh -uh. I ain't no smooth I, talker. I want to say I'm the smooth talker, but I'm definitely the intimidating. <laughs> you can uh, give me an intimidation uh -huh. roll. Okay. But you have to uh, tell me, you probably... have to paint me a picture of how you're going to intimidate. It's just robot nuts on the ground. <laughs> I put my robot nuts on his chin. <laughs> okay, roll for robot nuts on the chin. Okay. Uh, what is my plus for this? Uh, where the fuck? Seventeen. Seventeen? Is that the? Yeah. That's... Okay. Cool. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay, okay, listen. I'll, I'll do 100 up front and 300 after. How does that sound? That is more to my liking. Okay. <clears throat> um, let, let me go get that gold for you. And he goes in the back. Cha-ching, cha-ching. Gets him out. Plops uh, the sack next to your sacks. Um, and that's 100 <laughs> gold pieces there. What's that about sacks? There's a uh, sack of gold. What, what's everybody's gold count looking like? Yeah, you just got a hundred in that one. Yeah, uh, let's... each of us, each of us got a hundred. No, 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 no. It's a hundred split between each of us, but like, I'm at one fifteen. Currently okay. at two hundred one because I haven't been at Barth with provisions in a while. Okay, Tim. Hold on. Oh, there's a storm up brewing. Yeah, there is a storm up <laughs> yeah. brewing. Whoa! Oh, oh, whoa. Oh, oh, we need to warm it up. Oh. Uh, I have 447. Yo, what the fuck? Okay. A couple of the times that we've gotten gold, guys. Yeah, Tim's just, kind of just been carrying it. I've just kind of been carrying it, and also I haven't really spent anything on any big magic items. Like, I know y'all have probably each. Yeah, I've, I've rolled the gumball machine twice. Fair enough. That's okay, literally we'll, all I've spent my gold on. Let's just go ahead and split it up and just do 25 each. And then, uh... Yeah. Mike can dip into Tim's pouch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, it's Elliot here, your DM, your best friend, and your favorite coffee mug that's the only one you will drink coffee from in the morning. Uh, just here to do the kind of mid-show thingy. Yeah, I hope you're enjoying this next chapter. I don't know if I have a name yet. I've been kind of thinking of a couple different names that could work for this kind of more crime and investigation 
theme. Uh, but we'll see where what it ends up being. Sorry, I have hiccups the second I want to record something. Uh, what else? Um, yeah, it seems like this chapter is going a little faster. I feel like maybe I railroaded some sections. I feel a little bad about that, and I definitely misread some things from the chapter. Uh, still kind of getting used to being a DM again and reading and what goes on in my head is not what the book wants to go on, so I kind of have to update it really fast in game. So some things sound a little confusing or weird. Uh, that's me. Just always assume it's me. I'm the problem. But yeah, thank you so much for listening uh, and watching if you're on YouTube. Uh, please like and share and rate our podcast. It helps a whole lot. Give feedback, um, stuff like that. It helps a whole lot. Uh, for me, let me know what I can do better, uh, and also the engagement increases. Other people seem it. Um, yeah, well, I hope you have a good weekend. I don't. I think this one's coming out on Sunday, so I hope you have a good week. Yep, and see you next time. Hey guys, quick ad, and we'll get you back to the show. Uh, do you feel like you aren't part of a tabletop community? Do you want to meet new people with the same love and passion for tabletop RPGs uh, as you? Well, look no further than Rock Bottom Bards. Rock Bottom Bards is a new podcast hosted by Cole and Devin, where they dive into the world building and mechanics uh, within different tabletop RPGs. They drop an episode every week, and that will keep you updated on what's going on within the community of tabletop RPGs. They also have a Discord filled with beautiful and wonderful people to chat with. Uh, their community has been amazing so far. Uh, drop into the Discord and say hi. You can also catch a live recording while you're there. The link is in the description of this podcast, and I'll see you at the bottom. All right, everybody at 25? Yep. Hell yeah, appreciate it. Mm-hmm. All right. All right, boys. Okay, so. so, so, the the major crime uh, that's been taking place. This is uh, going to be something you write down. Whoever's taking notes, you all should be. But I know. Yeah. Um, uh, I got you. I drive. Yep. Take them in your head. Whatever. Okay. Well, like, I should write it down. So the 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 main crimes I'm worried about right now. They're they're. They're just hitting the town a lot harder than the rest. Um, one is uh, don't fucking repeat it a hundred times or I'll kill you. But the Barthens well, to well else. Barthens provisions well. Yeah, it's behind Barthens provisions. Um. Wait, wait, wait. What happens if I provision? throw a coin in the well? Can I throw twenty five coins in the well? If you want, but we're not at the well. Um. It. it Do seems... I get a free magic item? I'm just joking. It seems the well was smashed up. Um, oh. And the winch was destroyed as well. Uh, we I don't exactly know why they would do that, but that is a huge water source for our town. Um, and it, it seems that the Barthens crew has claimed that there's no more water. I do not know what happened, but that needs to be investigated. The miners exchange. Um, the building has lost some cornerstones, and now the building itself is tilting, and it will fall and lock in all the miners down there. There's uh, a sorry, what was, what was the last part? It was the miners? The miners exchange. And he describes that uh, cornerstones of the building have been removed, <laughs> causing the building to tilt over. Um, and it will be falling. If not fixed. Uh, another I one is put his notes on those again. <laughs> <laughs> another one is the shrine of luck um that is just outside of the town's master hall you would have seen it coming in and that has been uh desecrated and there are people trapped inside the shrine is like stones built up around a candle uh and it has been fucked with and then the last one is the sleeping giant and that one has is the bar that used to be the red brands. Oh, I should be doing this voice. Oh, the sleeping joint. That one that one like you may have heard outside, um, has been just ransacked and graffitied. I I have no clue 
how graffiti is even around, but they did some tight work. If you could investigate any of these places, I'm sure you'll find a lead that will get you um, to who's doing all of them. I, I feel like they're connected at the bottom, but not in the actual crimes themselves. It's not like a serial crime area. It's more like a group. It seems more like mischiefs. I thought you started Barthens Provisions. Serial Maybe crime. The Barthens Provisions Well. That the Barthens Provisions Well crime happened occurred at Barthens Visions Well. Yeah, that one. I'm so fucking glad that when Cuck got sent to war. <laughs> okay, so uh, just yeah. to make sure I got all this right and everything written down. Yeah, just to make sure. Uh, the the Barthens Well has been smashed and the wench ward is broken. There's no more water for the town. Uh, the Myers Exchange is about to collapse because of bricks being removed. The shrine, I forget what the shrine was, but shrine it also luck. collapsed. In, shrine of Luck, okay. Collapsed, and there are people trapped inside. And then Sleeping Giant has been graffiti. It has yeah. been ransacked and graffiti. Oh, ransacked yeah. and graffiti. Yeah. Okay. Well, the people trapped inside sounds most urgent. I feel like that's probably the yeah, it's not, yeah, Shrine of Luck is where I want to go to first. Okay. Yeah. All right. I need to take my jacket off I, because I'm having the opposite of you. I well, I'm too hot, Ryan, but I'm causing it. I think so. Give me a second. Uh, you guys, yes, you guys, role players. Can someone take this off? Too hot? Whoa! You know what's not I too believe... hot? This storm a brewing. I uh... I believe we go to the Shrine of Luck, save the trapped uh, town's members. Yeah, I agree, and see if they know anything, or see if they heard or saw anything. That is a great plan. Okay. So, All right. you guys <laughs> approach the Shrine of Luck, which is not far from the Tile Master Hall. Um, and what you notice on uh, just kind of a basic overview investigation. Um, once a striking ca carn cairn of colorful rocks. Um, I'm guessing a cairn is like a small building. You can look it up if you need to because I am. Oh, yes. It's like a, yes, it's like a stack of rocks. You said a cairn? <laughs> <laughs> yes, a cairn. <laughs> Uh, I want to talk to your manager. Uh, once a striking cairn of colorful rocks and offerings to Timora, the shrine now looks precarious. You see two figures attempting to move some of the shrine's larger rocks. The elf sister, Gario, and a human girl no more than 10 years old. Um, what do you guys do? Oh. All right, I guess I'm taking lead still. <laughs> You're the only one that talks. <laughs> Are there people trapped inside? Uh, yes. <sighs> yes, come quick. Come urgent, please. Please. Come on. All right, I'm come coming. on, boys. Let's move this rock. All right, right behind you. Okay, so I'm going to start helping them by, like, moving rocks out of the way. And I guess Varus is helping me. Okay, so as Varus and yeah. as Varus being and I'm guessing everyone's helping. Yeah, um, I would assume so. As you guys are helping her, you kind of hear this elf, whose sister Gariel, who you've met, who is at the Lion Shield coaster, or I don't know if all you met her, but she was the one that um, Malachi oh, talked to. Yeah. Um, she's. I think she was southern. The one that he too. I think disrespected. Yeah, very disrespectful. <laughs> yeah, she she was southern. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of glad you guys don't have that Malakor with you. That guy was a piece of shit. Um, I don't know who the hell. Well, let me first introduce you. That's uh that little young in there helping is Tamara Stonehill. Uh, that would be Toblin's daughter. Uh, she just came right out and helped, unlike her brother. He ain't do shit. Um, but yeah, I don't know piece of shit. who would fucking collapse his fucking shrine on these poor little boys uh but we're here to just get them out let's uh, get to it all right so let's just start getting some of this uh debris out of the way 
Oh yeah, with my negative one strength. That's okay. Um, yeah, I, I have plus I got, zero. I got the strength. pebbles. I got the pebbles. You got the big <laughs> rocks. <laughs> so as you guys help move all the rocks out of the way, um, you notice that there's no one in the shrine. Wait, what? What in darn two and? I I thought you said there were people trapped in here. There were. There were three small figures that were definitely here when I started this. I think your eyesight is failing you. Can I, like, peek into, like, the shrine to see if there's, like, any so the shrine like, itself, pathways or anything? The shrine itself like, is, is disassembled. Like, there's no longer a shrine. The shrine is made out of these stones that you guys were moving. Okay. Um, and there's no like passageways or anything like that, like no. underneath all this rubble that anybody could have. Okay. Wait, I saw three figures here when it fell, and I could have sworn they were. This has me thinking. This has me scratching my How head. How long ago was it? How long ago did it fall down or collapse? This was last night. I guess I saw it and went to bed. What? How the hell? Why did you wait this long to start trying to save people? I don't know. I really don't. Maybe you're the problem. I, th I think <laughs> it might be me. Your eyesight is failing you. Come on, boys. Let's uh, check the well. Wait, my friends. Wait, my friends. We need to what build this it? shrine again. This is a shrine of a god. You wait. You waited a whole night before trying to save people. Come on. Why would I help you rebuild the shrine? Come on. There help. are more urgent matters Come on. at hand. Tyros. Tyros, you're a man. You're a man of, of religion. Come on. Come on now. Now. What? Guys. Guys, come on, help me rebuild the we shrine. We can come back, but first we need to get to. Uh, how long is this going to take, well. man? I, <laughs> I don't think we have the proper skills in order to rebuild the shrine it looks like you need a masonry times. did you ask your dm <clears throat> did you ask i've got artisan DM? tools i've got these tools i've got all these tools i can do this i just gotta know it's worth our time it will be worth your time wait what you guys came back you guys don't know the crimes i'm assuming you guys are investigating so maybe when you help me rebuild this shrine we may find some evidence of who did it that sounds about all right. That sounds fine. pretty let's, fair. Let's let's start rebuilding the shrine, I guess. Um. So. Uh -uh. If you, so. Who is the most re if fucking Malachor was here? It would be religious. Yeah. Um, Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> can you give me an acrobatics check to see if you can like balance these rocks into place? Oh, oh an acrobatics um, check that actually ain't that bad. Um. What's your name? Fucking Varus. Can you give me a survival check to oh, see if? Fuck sake. Okay. That, is your survival not high? It's a three. A plus three. Bad. It's. Yeah. That's good. Acrobatics. No, that's not bad. <laughs> uh, my acrobatics check is a uh twenty three. Okay. Good. Um, Max, what did you want to? How did you want to help? rebuild this i know you were saying like art what skills do you think would match with that with like so using your tools and stuff do you want to just roll like a proficiency with your tools um so you would just add plus three one moment okay because you're if you're proficient with a certain type of kit or tool set you would add your From proficiency what I know, bonus at around level three I learned the right tool for the job. You've learned exactly how to produce the exact tool you need. For with thieves tools, artisan tools in hand, you can magically create one set of artisan tools in an unoccupied space within five feet of you. The creation requires one hour, but it's whatever tool the fuck you need. Okay, what magic, tool do you the need? Tools are not magical. What tool do you need? <laughs> what do you think would stacking rocks, what tool would help? Uh, <laughs> masonry tools. Okay, so... Add plus three and roll roll a d twenty and add a plus three. We can do that on the uh, right. 
on the website. You have masonry tools? What the fuck? Boom. Uh, because add, he, add can crap, he can craft. Yeah, he can craft masonry. Oh, 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 it does take bad, an bad, hour, bad, but bad, I don't bad, know. Bad, sure bad, bad. So that was a seventeen. Uh, Ryan, you got a We're twenty-three. We're not in combat. Um, Varus, mm. what did you get? Okay, so your get closer to your fucking mic. I can't hear you. Twenty-one. Nice. Okay, so none of you oh, failed, shit. which is good. <clears throat> so. It only takes you guys about 30 minutes to an hour to, to help restack this shrine. Um, and Gariel Gary uh, relights two candles and puts them. And, well, I, I thank you guys a lot for that. Um, here, here are some things I, I, I found. Um, oh, wait. Uh, Tyros, do you want to do like an investigation check around the scene while they're helping rebuild it? Yeah, I'm okay. not building. I'm I'm investigating. Okay. You mean investigation? Ah, uh, not one. Okay. <laughs> oh. um, he doesn't see shit. I will say. I that... see dead people. Oh man. <laughs> I will say that. Um, since it takes them an hour. Maybe I you if you're just investigating and you're taking your time, I don't think the roll necessarily matters because i feel like you could just keep re-rolling that like i'm just gonna keep looking for clues um so i'll give you this just because it's not something that's like you need to be quick about like you're, st yeah. you're stuck here for an hour why would you stop investigating because you didn't see stuff the first time um, Fair. so while you're kind of looking around it takes you some time to pick out the details but as they're separating and organizing the rocks uh, you start noticing uh, some little things around. Uh, you notice a broken mining pickaxe uh, near the rubble. It's a smaller pickaxe. Yeah. Um, and the part, the pieces are kind of all over, so it was hard to tell if it was part of this shrine or not uh, yeah. originally. You also see uh, little footprints leading down an alleyway uh, nearby. Um, and you also notice an axe embedded in the wall of the building behind the shrine. Because no one else would see that unless you roll an investigation check. Uh, do any one of us recognize the footprints or what creature they could have come from? Can you give me a uh, survival check, uh, Omri? Oh, Omri. I don't have this. Because he's like more of the hunter-ranger guy. Yeah. I'm ready to hear. This fucking guy. Nice. Okay, well, Bing. Can I just roll the survival check? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bing, <laughs> you give me a survival check. Uh, That one's a 14. 14? It, yeah. it wouldn't be a hard DC. Um, you and your adventures so far, you've become very uh acquaint with this foot size and it looks like the foot size of goblins oh, okay. or maybe small children but it seems more like goblins and uh with the axe um tim can you give me a history check Fifteen. Fifteen. does anyone want to help him with that history check ah damn yeah i'll help tim out with that i guess uh actually max probably should because i think his intelligence is better all right okay um times yeah there we go oh, that's, shit. that's what i was thinking so as tyros pulls this axe out and is kind of looking at it um he doesn't seem to really care about it, but you, Sagan, notice uh, that engraved and etched are runes into the uh, handle. And you notice those as uh, Durgar runes or deep uh, dwarf runes in origin. Okay. This is, where, this, is where a blue, this is where a blue paw print would appear. <laughs> He just got a lid. <laughs> um, and 
then yeah did you also did you want to talk to the 10 year old or investigate her or um gar gary at all tamara no, is Omri's back one. now oh hey all right this the cat okay. was Did anyone want to talk to the girl? Sure. Um, what happened, bitch? <laughs> God damn it. Hey, I'm a ten-year-old. Don't curse at me. My bad. I forget. This world's filled with old-ass bitches that look like you. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> what did you want to ask? Motherfucker, what happened to you? What happened here? What, what, what are you sensing? What are the vibes? Who's doing this shit? Bad vibes, homie. Bad vibes. Yeah? Bad ones? Yeah. Dumbass ones? I Tell came, me about it. I, I came and gave a weekly offering to Timora here, and I suddenly saw the shrine was caved in. Um, I saw some it's... shadows um, that were around here, some, some squatting figures that were around here uh, before Fucking it fell. Squatting figures? Can you give me, like, a description? Well... Did you get anything? It was dark. Like size? It was dark. They look like orcs. They look like people. It was dark. Like I'm creatures. a ten year old. I don't know. It was dark. I just heard gaggles and shrill voices. Did he say anything? I couldn't understand. It was it was in a language I've never heard. Dothraki? Yeah. <laughs> no. I I assume someone tried taking a rock from the shrine. And and it just the structure fell and I, I don't I don't know why they would. It it looks like after you guys rebuilt it that there there's missing a very pretty rock. It was a it was a really big black rock that like, sat like in a, the middle. Like and a it's gym. Gone. Like a gym, yes. Oh, and so we got grave robots, they're probably going for value. They might, yes. A cousin of mine does this shit, yeah. Your, co your cousin does this? Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> Not around here. Okay. Um. Um. So we're trying to solve this shit. Uh, it doesn't really seem like you're giving me a lot. Wait, um. So if you actually want to, I be just helpful, told you a stone um, was gone. I don't know who you want to be when you grow up, but this is not very useful. <laughs> I want to um, be you. I want to be like you, Sargon. You motherfucking ask some questions to yourself about what the fuck happened and give me a good one. That's all I got. Answer. I'm a little ten year old. All right, all right. Anyone else got questions for this motherfucker? Sounds tired. like she knows nothing. I say we move on. I say it... we dip. Was there any reward for the black rock or no? Oh, so while you were gone, we found a goblin footprint. Hey, cat! Stop. <laughs> Hold on. Now you're gone. <laughs> Every <laughs> the cat's just like boxing Ryan out. Uh, so where do you guys want to go? Now? Uh, we still have to go to. Did we go to Barthorn's Well yet or no? No, we haven't. We're still at the shrine. <clears throat> we can go to Barthorn's Well, or the well out back. We're gonna go to Barthorn's Provisions. Yes, we're going to Barthens Provisions. Hell yeah, that's what's up. So as you, uh... Oh, shit. Give me a sec. Oh god, we gotta roll for something. Uh, nope, nothing. Um, as you approach... Oh, yeah, Ellie rolled something. <laughs> yeah, I know, he did. So I was like, as oh, you... <laughs> <laughs> um, as you... <laughs> as you abro approach Barthens Provisions... Um, you see a short dwarf woman uh, approaching from the Tri-Boar Trail. Um, and the first things you kind of notice of her uh, is that she's small. She's wearing very nice clothing, uh, like very city-like clothing. Doesn't seem to be like a farmer or anything. Uh, she has a backpack that has is sheathed with paper and books. Uh, she has tattoos on her arms that are shown. Uh, she has glasses, um, and yeah. So yeah, that's you see this little woman you've never met before. How old is she? 
I don't know. You haven't asked her. She's a dwarf. How do you, bitch? <laughs> oh, hey. Oh, you you must be being or you must be Sargon. Yeah. Sargon these nuts, fucker. Yep, that's yep, that's the joke, bitch. I thought so. Your pants are very women very aren't funny. funny. That's awesome that you said that out loud. Um, <laughs> I'm I'm Elsa's sister. Elsa works at Stonehill Inn, and she's told me a lot about you and our writings, you adventures. Yep. I like her. She takes money well. Yep. She does take money well. Um, that's good to know my sister's doing well off. Um, I'm Gwen. I'm from Neverwinter. What? I, I heard there's crimes in this city. Um. Yeah, that's what the fuck we're trying to get to the bottom of. Oh, you me and my Me and my co-partner uh, Bing. Yeah. I'm playing Dirty Cop. I hope you know that, motherfucker. So if you're part of this shit, you better let loose. Now I'm gonna let my friendly buddy Bing come talk to you now. Okay. That's very cool of you to use psychological tricks on your interrogations. Motherfucker, you don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> what do you know about the crimes happening? Oh, I, I know nothing. I'm, I just, just strolled into town. I just noticed I'm very observant and saw that... The, there was uh, if mischief. If you are very observant, then what have you observed? I've observed your nuts are tiny, my friend, if you don't shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, do you... <laughs> I know... intimidation check, show her these fucking nuts. <laughs> no nuts, no nuts. <laughs> no robo nuts. No go-go gadget nuts. Um, <laughs> now, I can assist you guys in investigation, um, if you like, but I, I can't do a lot of the fighting, so... Um, I will be at the Stonehill Inn, and if you, uh, need any help, being, uh, that you're all bronze and no brains, uh, I'll be there to help connect dots for you. Bye! Right. Did you just call me dumb? Yeah, what did this you bitch just say about us? Uh, and she walks off to the stone. You hill insult hill. me again, you can get these hands. Oh, I want more than those hands, my friend. And she <laughs> enters the Stonehill Inn. Um... Think she might want you. So, you guys approach Barthen's Provisions. Um, and you notice the modest red bricked well behind Barthen's Provisions is dilapidated and crumbling. The well's walls are toppled over. Chunks of bricks and stone are littered in the nearby grass. And the well's roof is splintered and caved in. The well's winch and pulley have been smashed to pieces. Oh, shit. Um, does anyone want to give me an investigation check real fast? Yep. We'll see who has the highest. Uh, I got four. Wait, what's I mean, your passive perception? Some shit. Might like that. Well, passive perception is 16. Okay, so without even investigating Omri. So yeah, Omri can just notice shit. Yeah. Um, you hear, as you're kind of approaching the well, you hear a low gurgling growl Ooh. coming from the well. Um, you guys Ew. can still give me investigation checks. That's just what you notice, Omri. Uh, mine was a 13. Um, 13, 7. Omri, what's your passive? Omri, can you give me a nature check to see if you know? Hell yeah, kind of just one, baby. Oh All right, God. you can try to discern what that growling would be. Hell no, that's a five. Nope, you don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah. Tyros, <laughs> any investigation? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, fifteen. Right on. That's that's what we needed. <laughs> um, you notice kind of just a quick glance over this well and the 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 destruction. Um, that it looks like if you could get all the pieces together, that it could be reassembled. Um, however, the winch's drum is gone, so the thing that actually is one of the main mechanisms uh, is missing. Uh, and behind uh, you, uh, Tyros, you feel a tug. <laughs> 